So every vehicle is going to have a housing like this. This is your HVAC housing. Uh, this is where your evaporator is going to be. Uh, your heater core is going to be in here. Your blower motor is going to be attached to this. So everything going on with your HVAC system in your vehicle is going to be contained in here. So your HVAC housing is usually going to be located on the passenger side under the dashboard in the passenger compartment. Now if you have rear air, you're actually going to have another HVAC box like this in the rear of the vehicle. It's going to have its own actuators, its own blend doors, its own mode doors. You have electrical servo motors. Uh, generally, they're going to be called blend door actuator, mode door actuator, recirc actuator. You always want to make sure you get the right part number. If you look at these, they look very similar. There's different functions and there's different plugs, how they work. You just want to make sure that you're asking for the right part and that you're installing the right part. Now you have different types of actuators. Um, on a blend door, what you're doing, you're actually blending the hot and the cold air to get the desired temp out of the vent. Your mode door is the way you're looking at floor, um, vent, or um, windshield, just whatever mode that you want the air to come out. Um, you also have a recirc door actuator, and that's where you're, you're wanting to bring in the outside air and cool it, or if you want to recirc the air on max AC inside the cabin. A lot of times you're not getting air out of the desired vent, or you're not getting the desired temperature. Um, sometimes you may hear a clicking noise on the inside. A lot of times what that is, the electrical and the mechanical components inside this actuator may have failed. So they're getting the signal, but they can't actually make the connection that it needs to make to open and close the blend door or the mode door. And you want to make sure when the old actuator is removed that none of this changes before you put the new one on. If that does, your door is going to be in the wrong position and you're not going to get the desired temperature or mode that you're looking for. If they're even slightly opened or closed when they're not when they shouldn't be, then you're not going to get the performance that you're looking for out of your AC system. These HVAC assemblies will vary from vehicle to vehicle, and you just want to make sure that even though these actuators can look very similar, they have different functions, they can have different plugs. So this is a mode door and a blend door for a Honda Accord. Um, if you notice, the pins look very similar. They mount up very similar. This one actually comes with the gear needed for assembly. Other than that, they look very similar. These are two blend doors. This is the front one, this is the rear one. If you notice, the mounting is similar. Even the plugs are very similar. These do not interchange. In some cases, like this one for a Honda Pilot, you'll actually have the same actuator for the mode and the blend doors. These HVAC assemblies will vary from vehicle to vehicle and you just want to make sure that even though these actuators can look very similar they have different functions so you have to be very careful about which one you're putting back. For more tech tips like these visit gpdtechtips.com